The viewfinder is an excellent tool to make for yourself when you start preparing your compositions to isolate visual information. This is what we're creating as the first step to our project. How this works, is if I have a piece of art, what I can do is turn off the visual noise so that I can start to evaluate what my composition is doing and potential compositions that I could build out of this image by moving around the image. I can use it on a slant, I can use it as landscape or portrait mode. I like to use a large 11 inch by 14 inch piece of Bristol because it really does start to isolate the visual noise that exists around the image that you're studying. A quick way to find your center point is to connect both corners with the ruler and drop in a very light line. We don't need a heavy line. We don't need to load up this piece of paper with graphite. It's going to smudge and create a mess for ourselves. Line up the two corners. And drop in the line. Now I have a true center. My opening of my rectangle for my viewfinder is 3 inch by 4 inch. 3 inch divided by 2 is 1 and a half. I take my ruler, I lay that center point at 1 and a half, I make a little mark for myself. Make it at 3. 4 inch divided by 2 is 2 inches. I lay my ruler at 2 in the center, I make a little notch for myself, I make another notch for myself at 4 inches. I'm lining myself up with the edge of the paper, the edge of the bristle, and the grid that's on the cutting mat. That automatically creates a straight line that I can cut a straight edge. Before I come in with my X-Acto knife, I actually like to give myself a little bit of a guide, right? I'm going to lay in lines so that I can see where I'm cutting and double check and make sure that my measurements are correct. Very light lines. This is a great habit to start to establish for yourself. So as you go later down the line, if you're matting your work, you just drop 60 bucks, 40 bucks on a nice mat. You cut the opening to your frame, you find out that your measurements are wrong. This gives you a visual clue and a way to double check yourself. So the saying, measure twice, cut once. Keep my paper in place. It's lined with the edge of the, uh, the grid of the cutting mat. Lay in my line. Now I have a 3 inch by 4 inch rectangle, I'm good to go. Take out my X-Acto blade, I'm using my T-square. The edge of my T-square is sitting right on top of the edge of that cutting mat. That's going to give me a true perpendicular, a true straight line to cut with. I have a sharp blade, the edge is not bent off. This is a sharp blade. I make sure that my fingers are out of my cutting path right here. I got blood everywhere, so I got stitches. I'm going to the hospital. We don't need that. Again. I like to give it an extra cut just to make sure we cut through all the paper. Lining up the edge of my bristle to the grid of my cutting mat. T-square is in full contact with the edge of the cutting mat. I have a true perpendicular. Now if I come into a problem like this, just go in and lightly, lightly make sure we make contact all the way through. 